Kurilov or Korolev is an industrial city in Moscow Oblast, Russia, well known as the cradle of Soviet and Russian space exploration. As of the 2010 census, its population was 183,402, the largest as a science city. As of 2018, the population is more than 222,000 people. It was known as Kaliningrad from 1938 to 1996 and served as the leading Soviet center for production of anti-tank and air defense guns. In 1946, in the aftermath of World War II, the artillery plant was reconstructed for production of rockets, launch vehicles, and spacecraft, under the guidance of Russian scientist and academician Sergei Korolev, who envisioned, consolidated and guided the activities of many people in the Soviet space exploration program. The plant later became known as the RKK Energia. When the Vostok space vehicle was being developed, this research center was designated as NI-88 or PO Box 989. Russian Mission Control Center is also located in Kurilov. Though the real control is decentralized due to security reasons and all space aircraft may be controlled from many different locations across Russia, the historic center of control is still in Korolev, and is called FCC, Flights Control Center. In July 1996, the city was renamed in commemoration of Sergei Korolev, the father of the Soviet-slash-Russian space program, who died in 1966. Since 1997, Korolev has hosted the International Space Olympics, an annual competition for young people to promote space-related research. The Mission Control Center of the Russian Federal Space Agency springtime evening panorama to central part of the city. In the 12th century, a Slavic settlement was located on the site of modern Kurilov. The settlement stood on a junction of trade routes between the Moscow and Vladimir Suzdal principalities. After the Mongol conquests in the 13th century, the region was in decline. The village of Potlepki had formed on the site by the 18th century, when one of the first textile factories in Russia was established there. From the late 19th century, Potlepki was also known as a dacha village frequented by many literal I, as can be witnessed by the name of Potlepki Dok near railway station. They later moved their dachas to Paradelkino in Moscow's southeastern suburb, when Podlipki became a closed city. In 1924, the first Ogpu working commune in the Soviet Union was established at Podlipki. In 1938, the Kalininsky settlement near an artillery plant was granted. Town status and named Kaliningrad. Over the next three decades the town expanded greatly as a home of rocket manufacturing for both military missiles and the Soviet space program. As such it was a closed city. Within the framework of administrative divisions, it is incorporated as Kurilov City under Oblast jurisdiction, an administrative unit with the status equal to that of the districts. As a municipal division, Kurilov City under Oblast jurisdiction is incorporated as Kurilov Urban Okrug. In June 2014, Yubilini, Moscow Oblast town under Oblast jurisdiction was merged into Kurilov City under Oblast jurisdiction and on the municipal side, Yubilini Urban Okrug was merged into Kurilov Urban Okrug. The town of Yubilini ceased to exist as an independent entity. As of January 1, 2016, Kurilov was in 93 place out of 1,112 cities in Russia based on demographics. On June 2, 2014, the city of Yubilini officially became a part of Kurilov. With a total population of 220,000 people, Kurilov became the third largest city in Moscow Oblast based on population after Balashika and Kimkia. The main enterprise of the city is the RKK Energia, but there are several kinds of industry in the city. This Nakograd is the place in which the first youth residential complex in the Soviet Union was built. Another notable company located in the city is OO Composite, which is engaged in the field of material science. Today the city is prosperous overall. But in the Soviet era economy, the city typified the wide contrast and ironic juxtapositions that arose as some aspects of life were heavily funded by the government while others remained chronically underfunded. Yuri Krotkov described in his 1967 memoir how, at the same time that advanced technology was being built for space rockets, the textile plants of old Podlepki went on for decades with nearly no improvement on their 1920s equipment, and starkly impoverished workers in various hard and glamorless jobs of pre-revolutionary days crossed paths. Sometimes resentfully, with the skilled technicians and scientists, who were substantially better paid despite the slogans of Soviet ideology around the equal dignity of manual laborers. The bandy club Vimple has played in the Russian Bandy Supreme League, which is the second highest division. Their home arena has a capacity of 10 A plan existed to equip the stadium with artificial ice, 
but the project has been abandoned. Although an indoor ice hockey sized arena entered the plans instead, the official reason given was financial problems. Now Vimpel only plays in the Amateur League of Moscow Oblast. In 2014, a bandy federation for the city was founded. The area was a place of elite dodges at the end of the 19th century and beginning of the 20th century. Many famous people, such as Konstantin Stanislavsky, Anton Chekhov, Valery Bryusev, Boris Pasternak, Anna Akhmatova, Isaac Levitan, Pavel Trechikov, Marina Tsvetaeva, and Vladimir Lenin, lived here. Kurilov is twinned with, population of Russian Federation by municipality from January 1, 2016. 1 2016. 31. 1 2016. RAR. Thanks for watching.